so welcome to module 2 we're going to be looking at uh, sale prices discounts markups uh, these are very important for many marketing folks as well as salespeople and also this is this will give you some analytical skills as such anyways so let's look at one thing which is going to be a better buy and these are some of the things that you will be using later on in your career as well. Not these kind of things, but then more complex things. But this will be a foundation for some of those complex problems that you're going to be solving in the future. But the, the simple one is, which is a better buy? 80 pills bottle for $2.98 or 250 pills bottle for $5.35. So which one is, uh, which one will you buy? Uh, 80 pill bottle or a 250 bottle for a better buy so let's do this for this <clears throat> we need to set up some equations first so for 80 for 80 pills bottle how much it costs it costs 298 for 100 pills how much it will cost it will cost you two dollars ninety eight cents times one hundred over eighty, and that will be equal to three dollars and seventy three cents. Okay. Now, let's say for two fifty bottles how much it will cost for 100 pills so basically what we are trying to do is to come to a base of 100 pills so for the same 100 pills for the 250 pills bottle how much it will cost so for that we can say that 250 pills will cost 5.35 five dollars and 35 cents now for 100 pills how much it will cost it'll be 5.35 times 100 divided by 250 and that is going to be equal to two dollars and 14 cents so what we have done is to find out a common base price and the base price is for 100 pills so for 100 pills the 80 pills bottle is going to cost you 373 and for the 100 pills the 250 bottle will call you two dollars and 14 cents which one will you buy you will buy this so you're going to buy the 250 dollar 250 pills bottle that is a better buy so now let's look at a different problem now which is a better buy here at a paint store Sherman's paint costs $5.99 per quart and Williams paint costs $24.99 per gallon. So here you need to know how to convert quarts to gallon. So for some of you who are from outside this country, you may not know that, but you can always find out that there are four quarts to a gallon there are four quarts to a gallon okay so that is the first thing you need to know so you need to know how to convert this then you can do the same thing that we did before to see which is a better buy so what is a common thing that we can do here maybe one quart so we can say for let's say for sherman let's say a sherman for sherman one quart is one quart is five dollars ninety nine so what is for four quarts that is a gallon that is five point nine nine times four divided by one and that comes to twenty three dollars nine and ninety six cents twenty three dollars and ninety six cents this is for a gallon of Sherman the cost for Williams is $24.99 the cost for Sherman is $23.96 which is a better buy so it is better to buy by quarts 
so Sherman's paint is better, right? So Sherman is, this is what you want to buy. And you want to buy it by quartz. Okay, so this is the second problem. Example three is a little more complicated than the other two. So let's say Blueberry Computer is listed at $749.50. You are a purchase manager in your company. You decide to buy 30 computers for your company at a discount of 45% because they give you 45% discount for your company. Now, Blueberry Computers quotes you that you will receive 10% for the first two 20 computers on top of that 45% and for the remaining computers, you'll be eligible for a quantity discount of 5%. What is the amount of discount and what is the final invoice price of a Blueberry computer? So in this case, you have three discount prices. One is the 45%, another one is the 10%, another one is the 5%. So you need to compute all those and come out with a final price. So let's take the 45% first. So the first price with the 45% will be... will be with a 45%, that is 45%. That will be uh, basically 749.50 times 1 minus 45%. And that will come to 412.50. 22 this one point this is basically what i'm doing here is instead of i can do the other way too i can say 749.50 times 45 percent and that comes to 337 dollars and then i take off that 337 dollars from 749 that comes to 412 dollars and and change i can do that too but this is a simple formula this will be a simple formula that everybody knows okay so that is my first price now let's look at the discount of 10 percent discount so with the 10 percent discount the second price will be the price will be equal to 412.22 times 1 minus 10% and that will be equal to 371 dollars So we have $371 after the 10% discount. Now let's look at the final discount, which is actually quantity discount of 5%. So your final invoice price after the 5% is going to be equal to 371 times 1 minus 5% and that comes to $352. Three fifty-two dollars 45% okay so this is the way that you do discounts over a period of time and as many discounts you can do. Multiple discounts can be done this way. Single discount can be done this way. Okay. So, so far we saw sales, then we saw discounts. The third one is what is called a markup. Markups, retailers actually calculate their markups on a percentage of selling price. Some of them also base their selling price on a percentage of the cost. So how is markup used? The markup amount will be the actual cost times the markup percentage. It's a pretty simple formula. So let's do an example of markup next. 
So in this case, Bob sells radio monitors for household to monitor babies from one room to another. Bob's cost of a monitor is $35.50. His markup is 30% of his cost. What is the sale price? So the, he has already marked up 30% in his cost. So what is the sale price on this? So in this case, the markup amount will be equal to cost times the markup percentage. And that will be equal to 3550 times the markup percentage is 30 over 100 that is 30 percent correct and that will be equal to ten dollars and 65 cents so ten dollars and 65 cents is the markup amount the selling price the sale price is in this case we need to add this ten dollars and 65 cents so 3550 so 3550 plus ten dollars 65 because this is what is being marked up so we're going to mark up this so that is 3550 plus 1065 so the the amount the selling price will be 4650 okay and this will be the markup price or this will be the markup price plus the cost which is going to be the basically the selling price okay so let's look at another example rob sells drapes for home improvement projects he sells a roll of drapes for 4550 if the markup rate on the rolls is 55 percent of the cost find the cost of the roll of drapes so again well, let's use the same thing cost plus markup is going to be equal to equal to selling price right like we did before so if the cost is let's say we don't know the cost so let's assume that is it is 100 percent if i'm going to have that as 100 percent and i'm going to have a 55 percent markup that is going to be equal to 45.50 okay so what i'm doing here is that i'm actually going to look at this here this hundred dollars so this hundred percent is what i'm looking up as the total cost if I'm going to add this markup price of 55 and that is going to be equal to 45 percent okay so basically what we can say is 155 percent will be equal to 4550 okay so now let's set up the equation the equation is going to be 1.55 x will be equal to four is 45.50 how did i get that 1.55 i'm simply taking this percentage off how i do the percentage off i'm taking 155 times 1 by 100 because that's how it is percentage right which is 100 so if i take the percentage off that becomes 1.55 so 1.5 times x will be equal to $45.50. So x will be equal to $45.50, okay, divided by 1.55. And that comes to $29.35. So the basic cost of a roll will be $29.35. Okay, so we can do, so the two problems that we had before, please go through the old, the problem before this, the example before this, and this example, see the difference how we have done. And that will give you an idea of how to convert or reconvert from percentages to the markup line. 
okay so the markups are little little um, different than the sales because